Hi guys, welcome back to Betty's channel, she's doing the do as always, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a subscribe, drop us a comment down below, um, tell us how we're doing with the channel. Uh, I'm currently Betty1 and I'm going to go and fill her up diesel um, because Chrissy detects is going to Lake Barla tomorrow um, for the weekend on a metal detecting weekend with Imogen and her daughter and I'm going to be playing with Betty1 over the weekend. So I'm so looking forward to that. Um, it's the stripping out of the seats and the cab mat and the jet washing of the floor. And that's so we can see what's what. Obviously I've got to take all the, the screws out and stuff from the flooring and the sidewalls that I just where I just ripped the ply off. But yeah, it's going to be a good weekend. Fingers crossed work wise. I'm not sure about the weather. I don't really care. Um, and I'll update you soon. So today I'm just going to mostly going to be pulling out this DIY wiring, getting rid of the camera, reversing camera screen because it's biz, and that Bluetooth box just get rid. So I'll try and put it back to standard and then start again with it. I also need to get these seats out, the cab mat up, and just start it cutting and clean. Passenger door dash. Oh. Tell you what, never give me this. Does anybody remember Haynes manuals? Instead of YouTube. So I might even have a look through that at some point. Let's get a junction in there. All this DIY stuff. So I'm just going to rip it out because it's not forward standard. And then uh, start again. So this is the passenger door before. Main gate. Dashboard's a lot clearer, I think. It was. I might end up painting these plastics black, but I'll leave them for the minute because, yeah, nice and clean and bacteria free. I'm quite pleased with that compared to what it was. And that's the passenger door after. Nice and clean, bacteria free. Right, I'm just going to go and remove the seats. Got one bolt out. We've got another four or five to go. Let's just see what it looks like when I get it out. Right, that's the passenger seat out. That's piss wet through under there. So I can just get that out alright and chuck it in the bin. Well, that's the cab mat removed. All I can do now really is let it dry. Um, if I can take the driver's seat off and uh, have a look at the seat place, if I can paint it while it's in place. But yeah, we'll have a bash at that now. The driver's seat's off now. I want to keep the metal base and I'm going to spray paint it black just for tidy it up a bit. And I've got to sort out the uh, bent battery clamp as well. Got two batteries though, which is interesting. So, now uh, that's all I can do for today. I'm going to leave it overnight um, to dry off, sweep it out in the morning and then jet wash it so it's all nice and clean. No major issues with rust that I can see but I'm going to red oxide the whole floor just to make sure it's, uh, it's uh, nice and protected. So yeah, not a bad days work really. Right, while well, there's a break in the weather, I'm just gonna I've hacked out the old sealant from here, I'm just gonna put some sticker flex on it just to keep it nice and uh, sealed. That'll do for the minute. It's not very pretty, but it doesn't have to be. Just gotta stop the water going in. I've also managed to get the uh, bottom cable in and the new lock. Look at that, shiny shiny. Let's see if it works. Well, it shuts and it opens. It's definitely on that, isn't it? No, oh, maybe not. Bit of adjustment is necessary, I think, but it's raining. So that now lines up a bit better at the bottom. 
on the side of the bumper. Uniform gap. That's solid, that's not going anywhere. That's a bit of movement in that one. I'm going to have to play about with the... Uh, They're almost flush, so a bit of uh, adjustments needed. Not too much though. But yeah, overall, happy days. Just at Charlie Van Eyre, picking up some um, bits for Betty 2. Floor mat, cab mat. And then in there, driver's seat, which is not in bad nick. And um, an arch mat as well. So let's just see if we get on. Charlie Van Rental. Right, got the seat back on. I'm just giving it a bit of a clean with some elbow grease, which is really good stuff actually. Right, there's just one little, probably a fag burn in it. Um, but compared to the old one, which I'll show you, how dirty it is. Ripped, stained, God knows what's living in it, but yeah, so the new one's much better. As I was spraying it with um, elbow grease, I've given it a good brushing with a uh, hot soapy water, so we'll see what that does. Right, next job's on uh, Betty 2, while the weather is holding for the minute. I've been and picked up the new driver's seat from Charlie Van Mental. I've given it a bit of a clean, it's much better than the old one as I've just shown you. So I'm going to clean the seat, the battery case, uh, all round. I don't need paint it because it just, it just needs cleaning really. And I'm going to put the driver's seat on to dry, bolt it back in place, and then that's the driver's bit done. Then, if the weather still holds, I shall sweep out the back and uh, jet wash it. And I've also got the new cab mat um from charlie van rental and the front wheel arch in a cover um so i should be able to put them on this weekend fingers crossed and then i can bolt the passenger seat in once i've put the cab mat down but i am going to paint the whole floor with red oxide once i've cleaned it just want to make sure it's, it's doubly protected it did rain overnight quite heavily, but the sicker flex that I put on the roof there and there has worked because there's no water on the floor, which is ace. I've just cleaned the um, handbrake gator, and that's the muck that's come out of it. Happy days. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's bleeding raining again. Uh, you can see that I'm doing So there's not much more I can do today. Bugger. Bugger. That already looks ten times better. Even though you weren't going to see most of it. But hey, looks better than it did. Right, that's the uh, new driver's seat on. Cleaned up fairly well. Especially with the uh, newly sprayed battery um, carrier. Yeah, it's probably going to need another clean at some point, but at the minute, not too fuss. It's a lot better than the other one. So thanks, Terry, at Charlie Van Rendel. Not three bad. That's what the paint book should look like. I'm not minging like that. So I've just cleaned the seat belts plastics in the seat belt and just the inside of the uh, edge of the bulkhead or where the bulkhead was so still debating whether to jet wash it or not but I need to sweep, just sweep it out first and, and get all the screws out but we'll do that I'll come back to you to be honest I don't even know why I'm cleaning this foot well um, because it's going to be under a, a plastic cover anyway but I just want to do it, so I know that it's clean, I can paint it and rust proof it. I want to know it's good for another good few years then. So, yeah, I'll do it anyway. And that's the after. And that's what I want it all to look like, so that just needs a 
quick scotch padding and then um, red oxiding but rain's coming down now so I'm going to stop but yeah press on that I don't think there's a need to uh, jet wash the floor to be fair because um, as I'm sweeping it any stubborn bits that's why I brush them because it's just mud it's just dirt So again, yeah, I'll just give it a, a scotch padding once it's well. I'll give it a wipe down with just some um, wet wipes once I've cleaned all the dirt off, and then uh, should be sorted. I've got the time. I might as well just take my time with it, and I'll do with that step what I did with that step down there, and off and get it looking like that. I'm ready for painting. And I'm going to leave the tie downs in. I'm just going to make sure they're flat like that. So yeah, it's all good. With the screws, it's just a pair of more grips. Move it backwards and forwards a bit to loosen it off. And then, fingers crossed. Quite like that. And what I'll do with the holes, I'll give them a, um, a wire brush and I'll just put some Sikaflex in and then seal it with the red oxide. Right, that's this half of the floor de screwed. I'm just going to give it a clean a scotch pad and then I'm going to paint it with red oxide. Right, apart from my muddy footprints, that part of the floor is clean. So I'm just going to tap down the raised. Screw holes with a hammer, gently, and I'm going to sick of flex the holes. Then I'm going to red oxide the floor. Yay! Right, I'll saw the holes sick of flexed. Little black dots. So I'm going to have a brew. Let that go off a bit. Come back, scotch pad it, paint it. Right, I'm going to start doing some red oxiding. It's going to be like that all the way through the top. Come back to me in a bit. Right, that's the first half of the floor done. Paint of red oxide. So you've got to dry now. I'm going to paint this um, step now because I've got a bit of paint left and I'll get some more. And that's the difference. That's the after bit. So I know that that's, a cover's going to go over that. I shouldn't, didn't need to do it, but I just want to give it a bit of protection. So I'm just going to have a go at cleaning this step with some thinners and see if I can get all the oil off. Started already, looks a bit better. So I just noticed that the step dips down a bit at that end, so I'm just going to use a block cord and a jack and uh, jack it up. Bit. I'm just going to move it along and do the same again. Oh, that's a bit better. That's uh, knocked it up a bit. What a difference a bit of cleaning's made. So I'm just going to get some red oxide paint and paint it. Thought I'd better stock up on some uh, red oxide primer. Two tins. Mm. Oh, that's the finished result. That Red oxide primer was a lot thicker than the standard one I used on the floor, but it's solid. So um, it's all going to be covered up by trim anyway. So yeah, it's not on best paint job, but yeah, it'll do. It'll protect it. And that's what it's about. Well, as far as I can go today, I've got the uh, after floor uh, red oxide painted. I've got the passenger step painted. I've got the um, step into the 
sliding door painted and I've also fitted the new driver's seat so yeah it's been a good day really um, so yeah thanks for watching Betty's channel she's doing the do as always give us a thumbs up give us a like give us a subscribe drop a comment down below tell us what you think of Betty too overall I do what you do I'll see you on the next episode